Hey guys, it's Lefty back again playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for you that guys here today. Uh, oh, no, no, no! Oh, come on! No! All the bullets were hitting him. All of them. Those were all the bullets hitting him right there. Playing some Call of Duty here for you guys live. Uh, I like doing this from time to time, and uh, I want to... I... I wanted. I got. To, I have something that I want to talk about in this video while I'm playing, and it 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 pertains to Call of Duty. However, I just want to uh, take a moment to thank everybody, all of you out there who have given the reboot of the Lefty Show a chance and are doing your best to support it uh, just by watching the show, really. And uh, and I greatly appreciate that. And oh shit, the bouncing Betty, I didn't even see that there. I just, I'm so bad at looking for those. And I am I greatly appreciate it. And I thank you all very much for, uh, again, for supporting it and helping me out. And uh, it does mean a lot to me, it really does, to, to be able to uh, try to create something and, and, and do something that I'm passionate about. Oh, come on, man. Oh, and he... He was just blind-firing, wasn't he? Oh, wow, he knew. He knew. And and help supporting something that I'm passionate about. And I greatly appreciate that. It, it does mean a lot to me. And... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Give me your... Give me your golden shotgun, bro. Because I think there's a guy up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. So, it's been great. I'm, I'm happy. Very happy with the first two episodes right now. And I hope to bring you many more throughout the coming weeks. And I hope you all enjoy them and continue to show up and give me a reason to, uh, well, for lack of a better phrase, a, uh, a reason to exist. And uh, it does, it, again, it does mean a lot to me and I greatly appreciate it. But, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. But, <laughs> God damn, it's so bad. I need to turn down the sensitivity. I think that's screwing me. But I have a confession to make. Yeah, I deserve this. I deserve that. I fucking deserve that. I'm, I kind of miss playing Call of Duty. I, I, I'm playing Black Ops 2 here, and I'm not playing Call of Duty Ghosts because I don't have Call of Duty Ghosts on PC because I don't want to. I don't have my my console hooked up, and I don't really feel like playing Call of Duty Ghosts on uh, on console. I just, I, I don't. I'm. For my gaming purposes, what the fuck was that? What what the hell hit me? For my gaming purposes, PC gets it gets it done. It does. And what? No way. But I just I, the other day I was thinking about it and I was thinking about a game to play, and I was looking for something and I said, you know, there. I wish there was just something that I could. Whoa, here she comes. That I could just jump into and try to play. It, it, it would be not mindless, but it, it would be rewarding in a sense when I perform well and there's a lot of customization and, it, and it's it's faster paced and it's it's got a it's got a first person war theme and holy shit that almost killed me. And I was I was man, I really want to play something like that. And then my brain kind of was just like, well, you just you just said Call of Duty. <laughs> That's Call of Duty right there. And I realized very quickly that I was pining for Call of Duty. I want to play... Oh, shit, they're just doing that shooting through this thing. Oh, what the... What the hell? Where did he come from? What the fuck? Oh, man, that was nice. I didn't even know that was a thing. And I realized that I've been pining for Call of Duty, and I just... I, I miss playing Call of Duty. And I was thinking about it and thinking about back in the day when I was playing a lot of Call of Duty day in, day out, and, y you know, the the anticipation surrounding the next coming Call of Duty and, and the the sense of newness that you get when you're playing a Call of Duty that just, uh, that just released and the sense of accomplishment you get when you do really well in a match and you're just dropping bombs on people like you keep on forgetting what you wrote down, and I'm sorry, I, I digress. And I miss that. And I wish that Call of Duty Ghosts wasn't so lackluster. I give... It sucks that the developers of Call of Duty Ghosts were first-time Call of Duty developers and they had to develop across three platforms or, or three different generations of gaming machines. Talking here about, about consoles, last generation consoles, PC, and next generation. And I feel bad, you know? But at, at some level... You're in the major leagues, right? The Mendoza line. 
exists, and that's the the le- the lowest possible level of of production that is acceptable of a major league player. And while it's true that a major league player would kick my ass on a baseball field any day of the week and twice on Sunday, it's also true that they're in the major leagues and I'm not. You know, you're a Call of Duty developer and, and I'm not. You you developed the game, I didn't. You signed the contracts to develop the game, I didn't. So there isn't there is some forgiveness to be had there or some some leeway to be given there to to the developers, the first time developers, and you say, "All right, well, I'll, I'll see what you get, what you give me next time out." But I just miss playing, not having having mindless fun is something. How quick was this guy shooting? God damn, that's quick. Having mindless fun and not having anything invested in it because my channel is no longer a Call of Duty channel and being able to to care as much about the game as I want to and be like, oh man, well, th- that guy just killed me, right? And if I was a Call of Duty channel, this game would be a throwaway right now. 1.25 kill to death ratio. I mean, I'm leading my team, but this is this is garbage. This is garbo compared to. Oh my goodness! I dove instead of instead of laying down because I was still trying to move forward, and that guy is just up there again. And this would be garbage. But in my position, I can put as much into the game and into my performance as I want. And I miss that. And I would I would like to be able to do that to create content from this headspace. Let's say on a game that isn't as frustrating as Call of Duty Ghosts is and was and not have to spend $50 an overpriced $50 for a game that's going to be out of date in a couple months with a dead player base in Call of Duty Ghosts on PC so I'm not out of the Call of Duty game yet I guess is the moral of this story and I would like to continue playing it and perhaps to just have fun instead of trying to be good for people on the internet and in that way, and in that sense, I'm looking forward to 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 the next Call of Duty. Anyway, guys, that's my time. I got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like on this video. If you did enjoy, I'm out. Peace.